Hello, hello, ladies. Today I have some quick eyeshadow do's and don'ts for you. So, first of all, if I say something is a don't, it doesn't mean I'm right. There's no right or wrong. There's no rules to make up. Uh, if you are comfortable wearing it and you like it, keep doing it. Uh, this list is more for people that are unsure or maybe looking for some new tips. So, first of all, on the list of do's and don'ts, don't neglect using an eye primer. Eye primer is so important because it helps the eyeshadow to not crease. It helps the eyeshadow to look more vibrant and to stay in place. The plus side, too, is that if the eyeshadow is going to look more vibrant, you're going to use less of it to create that look, which means you're going to use less eyeshadow, which means it's also going to save you money. So just something to keep in mind. Primer is very important to the overall look of the eyeshadow. Next up... When you're adding a dark color, uh, a lot of people will add it in the crease, wherever you're adding it, use one to two transition shades. And what I mean by that is, for example, if I'm going to use, say, this dark color here in my crease, I'm also going to use this color, this medium brown, and this off-white color, as well as transition colors. So what I would do is I would take a fluffy brush, I would apply the off-white color kind of all over in here, then I would take, um, oh, probably this brush here, and apply that medium color right up in this area, and then I'm going to apply that dark color. What that does, it provides a little bit of a base for that dark color so that that dark color doesn't look patchy. It's going to glide on very easily over that transition color. And then when you go to blend, it just creates a very smooth blend so that you don't have any harsh lines. So transition colors are awesome. Um, let's see, another do for using eyeshadows is do use a flat brush for applying eyeshadow to the lid. So by flat brush, I am talking about something like this, these two, or even a sponge, this um, pointed sponge. This is actually a concealer brush, and this is a cream shadow brush, but they're um, flat both of these are flat, as you can see from the side angle, and they're a little bit more stiff. You want to use those when you're applying an, um, an eyeshadow color all over the eyelid because these fantastic fluffy brushes have fallout. Um, they're not going to get the color packed on there as well, so I prefer definitely to use a flat brush versus a fluffy brush when putting eyeshadow on my eyelid. Another tip is don't over highlight. A lot of people, myself included, I love adding a highlight color up here. What adding a highlight color does is it kind of lifts your eyes, right? Makes you look a bit more youthful, a little bit more awake, um, but you can overdo it. Keep this color here that you use, whether it's a shimmer or a matte, keep it light. Uh, one way you can do that is when you're holding your brushes, and this goes for anything, putting on blush, whatever. Hold your brushes on the end versus down here. When you're holding them on the end, you tend to apply it with a lighter hand, make it go on smoother, make it blend nicer. So something to keep in mind there as well. Um, another don't. Don't apply shimmer on the lower lash line. So if you want to apply eyeshadow like I did today on the lower lash line to kind of create a little bit more of a smoky look, that's fine. Don't use a shimmer. Shimmer can actually make your eyes look smaller. It can also make them look more swollen. So if you do want to use eyeshadows underneath, make sure that you are using a matte shade. Um, another tip with that too, again, just like you have your transition colors up here, use transition colors down here. Add a very light um, color first, then you can even add a medium color, and then uh, add with a very fine brush, like this one, see how thin that is there? Add that darker color, and then you can just blend, and it gives that soft, smoky look without being too overpowering. If you're going to fill in with anything dark, like a lot of people fill in that outer V there with a dark color, I like to do that a lot too. When you do it, make sure that A, you're using a small brush, so a crease brush is good, for example. Use a small brush and make sure that you tap off any excess of that dark color before you apply it. It's a heck of a lot easier to build on that dark color 
than it is to try removing and blending that dark color down if you've gotten too much. So make sure that you tap that off. That will definitely help you out. Uh, and lastly, when you are using any of the makeup, any of the eyeshadow stuff, do your eyeshadow first. Um, again, that just if you get any fallout here, if your face makeup's not done, who cares? You're not going to mess up your face makeup. So personally, I put primer on my whole face first. That gives that time to set. While that's setting, I go and do my eye makeup. I put my eye primer on first, then I do my eye makeup. Then I go back and do my face makeup. Um, again, if there's any fallout, if you're doing a winged eyeliner and you mess it up and you have to use makeup remover to fix it, you don't have to worry about messing up your foundation at all. So there's just some uh, do's and don'ts for you. I hope that you found value in this. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to reach out to me. Talk to you later. Bye.